Want to see the 2021 Escape 19? I do. Come with me. Today we are at the Escape Trailer Factory showroom. Yep, we are. They sell only Factory Direct wonderful fiberglass trailers. And today I'm going to show you the Escape 19. This is the most popular trailer that gets sold and we're gonna have an opportunity to take a look at it. So they are based out of Chilliwack, BC in Canada. And like I said, it's Factory Direct. So every one of these trailers is custom made personalized for the buyer. So you get to choose all of the things you want, whether it be graphic, or countertop or fabrics or even where a plug goes. You get to choose that. You can even choose which windows go where. <laughs> so it's a super personalized service and they're really good about it. Imagine if you could pick up the phone or send an email actually to the factory and someone responded. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get here with Escape. So super cool. They've been really nice to open up their showroom for us. You know, it's COVID and they're really uh, helping us out so that we can show you guys these great trailers. Don't forget the links in the description, currency converter, timestamps, research resource that we use. There will also be the link so that you can uh, get a hold of Escape trailers. And of course, if we're uh, offering you any value here, please feel free to buy us a coffee and the link for that is in the description below as well. So let's get on with it. So what I love about Escape, well, first of all, it's the fiberglass and you can link at the end to the construction nuts and bolts to learn more about it. But I mean, it's just so sleek and compact and lightweight and they're wonderful. But as an option, because remember you can add so many different things and I'll try to point out all the options that I see on this trailer, but I'm sure there'll even be more. You can have this wonderful uh, front container to, for storage purposes. Now in this particular one, it also is housing the two lithium batteries because also an option is a really great solar package. So uh, we'll point out the other pieces to that as we go. What I like is that this is kind of a rougher uh, fiberglass, more like a, a rock guard type of thing in front of all this. It's really great. Two 20 pound propane tanks. This has a manual jack and in order to close this up you just pull on this little piece and it comes down and you can see how nice that is I really like it plus you get that front light and it's all just wonderful with this uh, window that closes down so it protects your glass when you're driving down the road let's go around this side so on this side, there's another feature part of the solar package, which is a port here for you to plug in portable uh, panels. You do get the slider windows and they are standard. Uh, some more outdoor lighting, which I love, and it goes down to your sewer port with your black and your gray poles. Uh, standard also on the escape trailer is not an enclosed underbelly but you can have the option of doing a spray foam you have the option of adding heating pads to that whole system just to you know get you out in a little colder weather so coming down we do have the uh, dual 3,500 pound uh, torsion axles. Here is your water input for your tank or your city water. And here is an outside shower, which is also an option. Here is your 30 amp electrical cord. Coming around to the back. Spare tire, uh, more outside lighting, more great window. And moving down here is the receiver hitch that can hold 150 pounds, so a bike rack of some sort, something like that. Also, way up at the top there, you can see uh, one of the roof mount solar panels, and you can get up to two, and those are each 190 watts. So over here to the passenger side, the door side, uh, you do get a manual awning on this particular one. And then coming down here, we've got some more ports, uh, 12 volt and USB. And again, like I said, you can customize this so you can decide where you want things. 
Here is the uh, storage area. Now I'm not loving the little clip thing. I wish they'd go to magnets, but they're there. Uh, smaller door to an absolutely enormous space. And not only is it just space, but you can access uh, necessary things. Okay, also moving back, here is your electrical and your tires. Now these are on the steel wheels. You can get them in aluminum. Let's just read what these say. These are the Hercules um, ST20575R15. Uh, so those are the tires. The other thing I want to talk about here is this space and this uh, trailer has the option of the lifted uh, kit to give you more clearance. So the torsion axle stays the same, but they've added an extra uh, piece into the frame here to lift the frame and the fiberglass piece up to give you more clearance. So this is another situation where the personalization that goes on here at Escape is, would be so helpful because Corey and I are not gonna want this handle up there. That doesn't work for us, right? And we want to be comfortable when we're using our trailer. So here, we would simply ask for them to move this down to here. It would be right where we needed it. We could go up on the steps, grab our handle, get in the door, and it'd be just fine. So those are the types of little details that make this your rig. Okay, coming on down, here at the front again is another uh, storage door and looking in there is a nice area as well which also is housing your 1500 a watt inverter so that's great again your stairs they have the two-step because of course it's lifted right so they are the standard uh, steel slide in through here you're going to need to do some maintenance make sure they get cleared off because they could get a little tough to uh, put in and out door is not a friction door but it is on this uh, pneumatic uh, cylinder here to give it strength and rigidity and hold it in place because it does not hook up to the trailer at the back and you don't want it just flying around, right? Um, and then here is a good screen door. We like that. There is a translucent cover in the window. We also like that. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you before we go inside is there is a propane quick connect down here as well. Another option. Okay, so who wants to go check out the most popular escape floor plan, the 19? Come on in. Welcome to the escape 19. This is another small yet wonderful floor plan. Look at here. I love these. <laughs> you know I do. There's also switches and uh, electrical there. Further moving into the kitchen, uh, smaller countertop space, but let's see, you get a smaller um, single stainless sink with a gorgeous tap, a nice sprayer, I love that. Little kitchen window, some blinds, some lighting, I like all of that. Um, and then, I mean, this is going to have to be big enough for you to put a drain rack in and to do your cutting and things. And I do wish that this was a cutting board, not the same as a countertop. Um, and here is what you get for a standard stove. And there are options that you can upgrade to bigger. Um, but remember, pros and cons, right? And if you go to something bigger, you're probably going to be losing some uh, cupboard space and things like that. So you have to pick what's right for you. And at Escape, that is a very doable thing. So this is a two burner propane with the top uh, range hood. Here's where your uh, center for your pump and heater, water heater and your uh, tank levels is. Here is uh, your storage. Now that does seem a little high for me and it's gonna go way back there and way up there. So I definitely would need a stool in order to be able to see everything in there. By the way, this is the maple package of cabinetry with this nice little plasticky uh, translucent space in there, which just adds something nice to the trailer. Uh, moving down, there is, look at this, holy cow. Look at that for storage, folks. Nice, I love that. What do we got down here? More. 
Now it's not as deep, of course, but that's still a bunch more storage. And then you get another one here that it just carries on to those bottom ones as well as two great drawers. And the cabinetry is super nice in these trailers. Uh, so this floor plan has the dedicated bed. Now I don't know exactly the size, but I will figure that out for you. Very comfortable mattress. Um, and then storage, storage, storage. And there's lighting and there's also three windows in here, like a lot of light, a lot of natural light. It's a very comfortable spot. Now, you know how I feel about beds <laughs> that I got to climb all over to make. So that's a bit of a challenge. But, you know, again, pros and cons, right? You do get electric, USB and 12 volt there. And then there's more under here. So this is that same storage area that we looked at from the outside that's just huge um, so it's just another way that you can access it right and then over to here more electric uh, another storage space and then moving up to our nor cold fridge let's see so actually this is a pretty good size fridge you know what i think this is a 12 volt fridge so that's where you get the exercise. Now, as far as uh, how many cubic feet, I wanna say 5.4 or something like that, but I'll figure that out for you. And then you do have freezer space there and um, I can reach everything in here quite good. So I'm happy with that. Here, more storage or it does have electrical if you wanted this to be microwave because that's an option as well. Moving over to what I'm guessing is a closet, has a nice mirror. And uh, so it doesn't have a closet rod in it, but it does have shelving. And this is fixed shelving. So I guess you could make it whatever you like. It doesn't have to be a closet. It could be a pantry. It could be clothes. It could be whatever you want. Another drawer down here. These are quite deep drawers, so I like that. And here is your furnace. Now this is a space heating um, furnace, so it's not ducted. It'll just heat this whole space. So that's nice. Small, small trailer, and yet it's still got a wet bath. You know I love them. To, to have all of this in such a small space is fantastic. Two-piece fiberglass, completely uh, caulked, wonderful sink, uh, standard taps, you get a curtain, you get a nice mirror with storage there. Uh, here is a vent and lighting and this is an option and it's a composting toilet. So um, there's plenty of places for you to find on YouTube that will talk about pros and cons of which toilet. But if you've already learned and decided which one you want and a composting one is, is on your list, you can get that here at Escape. So here's the one other thing that I've noticed is that the composting toilet is quite high. <laughs> so again, that probably would be a no for us because it's just too high for us to climb up here to get on to. Uh, but again, for you, that could be just the perfect option, and boy, it helps out with boondocking, right? So, moving up from our lovely bathroom, I'll take you back to the uh, dinette area. Now, remember, the dinettes are going to make down into beds. Um, they are on a slider table like this. And this particular one has a standard post system, which Corey and I love because who needs to recreate the wheel? This is great. And uh, it's easy to make down. The cushions are nice. Again, you've got nice big surround windows. Um, you've got storage, nice storage up. This one doesn't have a door, but that's okay. Another door over there. And let's take a look at the blinds. Really nice blinds. Okay, so this one is more access to the uh, systems in there fuses, all sorts of things. And then let me see what's over here under this one. Because the beauty thing is you just slide the table out of the way. There's a door on that one. Oh, there is. Okay. Let's look at that. Good spot. 
Okay, so this is that same space where the inverter was that you could access from outside as well. So you don't need to worry about accessing it from here, but you could if you wanted to. So all very nice. Um, while you're back there, let's take a look up at the ceiling. You've got your LED lighting, you get the um, max air vent fan, and you get AC in here. Again, not ducted, but that's okay because that's going to work perfectly well. And you do have choices uh, when you're personalizing this for AC as well. So all very nice. And now I want to take a look at the numbers because I want to know just how big this is and how much it weighs. Now for the numbers on the 2021 Escape 19. I've got the sheet here and the uh, GVW on this one with all of the options that were included on it and I'm sure I have not uh, pointed them all out to you so make sure you get a hold of uh, Escape and talk to someone here so that you know too. But the GVW comes in 3,609 pounds with a cargo carrying capacity of 1,391. Now, the length is exterior 9, 19 feet 6 inches and add extra 6 inches for that spare tire with the height to the top of the AC of 9 feet, an exterior width of 7 feet, a interior height in here of 6 foot 3 inches and the interior length in here 19 foot 8 inches. Fresh water is at 28 gallons and the black water is at 19 gallons and the gray is another 28 gallons. Now I want to talk about the pricing because uh, if you are Canadian you will pay in Canadian dollars, if you are an American you will pay in US dollars. And then there is that base price of what the unit costs and then all of the choices that you've made. So including, I'll give you the base price for this one and all of the options that were in, what it came out to. So in US dollars, the base price is $26,995. And then when all the options were added, it came out to $41,505. And in Canadian, base was $34,795. And with all of those options, it came out to $53,000. $34. So if you are interested in getting an escape trailer, click the link below and talk to these people and they will be one-on-one -on -one with you figuring out all of the things that you want. Very cool trailer, no cracker barrel factor to worry about. Everything's all in one. You can tow this with a lighter truck. It's just got so many pros to it. So I hope that uh, we've helped you in some way. And if we have, feel free to click the link below and buy us a coffee as well. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, click on these links at the end so you learn more about the nuts and bolts construction or come along on an adventure with us because we just love having you along for those too. Otherwise, thanks for spending your time here with us today. Thanks for watching.